today, uh, my presentation is a little bit different than the previous speakers because I'm not a highly technically oriented, you know, font designer or you know some other uh, relevant, uh, uh, more um, the typeface design. Although I design a couple of typeface, uh, typefaces, but uh, more about the type and image and the visual communication. The biggest reason I'm here is uh, promoting that typographic exhibitions that uh, we have in here. So first, I'm going to give you just a little bit about myself. Uh, let's see. So there's me. And again, you know, everybody knows we have some big problem. So uh, I actually uh, strongly support. Uh, I'm going to show you very quick one minute slide show about just me, and then I will get into the actual uh, presentation. So last week, uh, my solo show has been held up in Girona, which is a 40 minutes south of uh, uh, Barcelona. And this is more like a personal experimentation using my typogram, including the graphical uh, integrations. So you see a lot of daily life objects and materials that I you know, jumbled together to giving some of my emotional you know, statement every day. Like this one is so funny because you, you see the cat try to catch butterfly, but the rat is behind and smiling it because he was successfully escaped. Okay, so it is just a quick little preview for you. So let me get into our topic today. So the main thing is, um, as uh, Veronica mentioned, uh, every year in Ulsan, Ulsan is the, the sixth biggest city uh, in southeastern of Korea. And then I will explain, we have annual typographic uh, event. So that's about me. That's actually in Seoul, uh, Gangnam area, across the bridge. And I all of a sudden come to San Francisco. And this is my university, San Jose State, the first state university in California, 189 years old. Anything we consider over 100 years in America, really old. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot believe in, in Europe. But that's our student union. And then this is Main Street. There's some of these are my work. I will go a little bit faster the earlier part. Uh, I, work, uh, I work on a lot of like a visual poetry. Um, so this, and this is my uh, one of uh, teaching tool is type anatomy A to Z. And then uh, you have all the terminologies, okay? But it's a human anatomy, okay? It's April Grayman's show that I did it. Okay, so let me quickly start to give you some reference. As Soyeon already uh, explained, the Hangul was made for the an ordinary uh, human beings because back in days in Korea, we had our uh, the language, but we borrowed the Chinese characters. So this, this gentleman is King Sejong. He gathered the scholars and linguistics and designing the letter forms uh, and uh, the script system, writing systems for Korean. Uh, the reason I'm showing this, later you will see uh, in here, uh, you see the Korean characters mixed with the Chinese character, uh, because at the time, um, all the people must use a Chinese character for writing system. But later on, we uh, get rid of the Chinese characters for our daily life, and we start uh, to use 100% Korean. Uh, I want to introduce uh, three very famous and important type designers. Uh, the one is uh, Che Jong Ho. He was the, uh, considered most significant uh, type designer at the time, and obviously it's so before digital, so everything was handcrafted. And these were, and that's him working on the larger scale of the hand letterings. And uh, the, one of the things you see in here is very interesting. You see the character on the top left corner is actually upside down. And he actually purposely do that because in order to see the visual balance of the space, he wants to you know, make it upside down and checking with other uh, characters. 
these are his own uh, classical typeface we call Myeongjo, and this became the standard of Korean uh, typeface up until 2000. Still, a lot of people uh, uh, refer to that. This is more like a commercial base uh, Gothic style we call, and a headline for commercial use and advertisement. Okay, and here's another person. Uh, Jung Sun Choi is actually a good friend of uh, um, uh, Mr. Choi. Both of them are uh, good friends. But uh, this person's design is more uh, nationally recognized. Uh, uh, the mediums, such as a uh, Korean textbook. So you see the letter forms are used there. And here's another person, much later, about two decades later, uh, this person uh, made uh, what we call is a non-geometric uh, format, non-square format typeface. So what you see in here on the top left corner, uh, the, unlike a previous one, is not fitting into the square module, and it's almost like a 1.5 rectangular uh, proportion. This is his module. The reason why he did this, because in this case, we don't have to redesign every single vowels and consonant. So uh, he tried to make this uh, more systematic. And then, of course, we were uh, based on a lot of calligraphies. Okay, I'm just going a little bit faster for these references. Okay, you see completely different feeling of the letter forms. Almost you cannot recognize sometimes whether this is a Korean typeface or not. Like, like for example, in here, even some of the Korean designers couldn't uh, really recognize, but uh, uh, it's very uh, expressive. And this is one of the research diagrams done by um, some of the design you know, uh, institutions, and they actually researched many different variations of possibilities. And then these were some of those selected work. Okay, and then you can see different variations. They, they are all same typeface, uh, the characters, but a uh, different style. So now I, I'm going to start to discuss about, you know, uh, our um, uh, main topic today. So, like I said, in Ursan, This is a little bit southeast area, and this is uh, the landscape of Ulsan city. Uh, it used to be industrial city uh, where we have a big corporations like a, a power plant, uh, automobile company like a Hyundai. Um, but uh, recently the city mayors and other officials, they tried to convert the image of the city more like a culturally driven uh, city. So they they make a slogan, uh, the city of letters. Okay, you see some of these museums, and this is more important uh, references. Uh, in the south part of Ulsan, there's a big historically important you know, resources we call Bangude. This is the name of the uh, area. Uh, this is a site where we found a lot of petroglyphs. And these petroglyphs actually uh, uh, recognized by UNESCO, and that's the site, the whole uh, cliff. And, uh, and then you will see these petroglyphs, uh, a lot of animals and the human figures, and you can imagine the lifestyle from at the time. Uh, you are seeing a lot of, on the left hand side, a lot of whales, uh, because the Ulsan area is known for the, the territory of the whale. Okay, and then uh, the different areas around Ulsan, uh, we found more petroglyphs. And uh, this is the museum of the petroglyphs. And this aerial view, you see um, the shape of the whale. Okay, can, can you see that? Okay. Uh, the, the reason I brought this information just because the Ulsan city tried to really promote the resources what we have as the birthplace of the uh, science system and, uh, and the letter forms. So they decided to host typographic event. So two years ago, I joined to uh, the organization and the committee, 
and then uh, we start to make a big uh, typographic poster event. So these were all of those resources and the designers actually participated in that. But the other reason why we also do this typographic show in Ulsan was uh, Mr. Hyunbae Choi was a scholar who, um, who was a uh, visionary linguistics and a researcher. And uh, he brought a lot of exciting potentials for the future of Korean alphabet in terms of usage. And this is the museum. And then let me explain why it is important. And that's Yeonbae Choi. Uh, this is his part of the research. And then it's, it's called the revolutionary uh, research about the Korean, Korean alphabet. Uh, Korean alphabet uh, supposed to have all combined structure. So let me show you this first. Uh, when we combine the letter forms and then the people you know, uh, completely understand the individual syllable, that has a meaning. Uh, unlike Latin, the Latin what you see here on the bottom, it says a book. The one above it, Korean character, that says a book too. So it's the same pronunciations, is uh, the same meaning. Uh, if you look at on the right hand side, uh, the, the upper part is the first consonant and the second is a vowel. The, uh, the bottom one is a second consonant. And this is the way we actually combine them together. So individual character becoming meaningful, uh, the, the combinations of all of those you know, uh, individual vowels and consonant. So if we apply the same way, like a Soyeon, you know, uh, tried in her way, this is, this is a logic, you know, but uh, in Latin, you cannot really you know, understand, you know, if we do that. The, the Korean character, the problem is, if you see in here, the, on the left-hand side, uh, look at the red stroke, it's the same character. Uh, in alphabet, it's a letter K. But these five examples showing all different proportions and different scale, different uh, different proportion and different you know, uh, uh, weight. And the reason is we have to try to put them together in the square module. So you have to adjust the same character. So that's the reason we have to design 1,600 uh, characters in order to actually write you know, our sentences and the paragraphs. So this made it very difficult to work on Korean alphabet design, but um, uh, the Hyunbae Choi, he tried to uh, apply the linear structure. Uh, for example, like this on the right, uh, instead of combine the characters, uh, just make a linear structure. So we don't have to redesign the same uh, consonant vowels unlike the previous example. Uh, same as Latin alphabet, you can just uh, make uh, the limited numbers and the reuse it. The problem though, it against the principles of the Hangul, the King Sejong actually designed. So, uh, so a lot of uh, the linguistic and scholars tried to persuade these ideas, but it didn't, didn't work out. So we ended up to use uh, just a combined you know, set of characters. So in this case, the five individual characters combined out of the vowels and the consonant, but if you make a linear set, it is, it is going to be long, uh, only the advantage that is you don't have to redesign the vowel and consonant. Okay, and so these are the examples of uh, Hyunbae Choi actually designed using the linear set of characters. Okay, so so those were the two reasons. One was we had a Bangu Day that you know uh, petrograph resources. The other one was the linguistics research. Ulsan become uh, symbolic cities in terms of. Uh, the Korean alphabet, which is Hangul. So based on that, two years ago, we start to make the uh, exhibitions. So we invited uh, 24 international students, uh, international uh, the student, uh, and professionals, uh, professionals, and then, uh, uh, we uh, work with, together with the Korean uh, type, type out of work together. And this is uh, one of the the monument that we set up the outdoor exhibition. And the exhibition was actually on the outdoor. 
Uh, we intentionally did that because we want these exhibitions more part of our, li our, our life, uh, rather than you go to museum and just looking at the work on the wall. So this is a 2.5 meters high and uh, three meters width, big size of the book. Okay, and then I will show you a little video so you can see. And then in here we brought this, uh, this work uh, as a flat uh, poster. But, uh, okay. And there were a couple of others. So two sides, we had a big LED screen featuring the different work. Okay. Um, there, there are a couple of uh, very important, you know, uh, posters, uh, which I, I may explain a little bit, but um, we have some time limits, so I'm going a little bit faster. That's the entrance of this district. Okay. And these are the posters from uh, Poland, Russia, UK. And uh, one, one on the right is a Korean calligrapher, Mr. Gang. Um, that's, the, that's his work about the dream of hunger. Yeah, one on the left, uh, also uh, the found uh, little rocks, but combining together that makes the letter form. Okay, one on the right is my work. Okay. And uh, one on the right in here is the Korean uh, letter forms uh, designed by um, one of the leading book designers in Korea. And that's, uh, that's talking about the wind of whale. And this is another, another location where we had a second exhibition. And uh, it is a big park, and then people gather together at night. Okay, there, there is a police poster. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, in, in five minutes, I will just quickly wrap it up. So here, if you go out uh, in the room, you will see the exhibition catalog. So uh, this is the catalog that I designed. Uh, it has 48 uh, individual leaflets uh, that uh, putting together as a book format. Um, when we flip over on the back side, it become the larger scale of the scenery of that uh, uh, petroglyphs. So it is acting like a larger you know, piece of the world. And then, you know, uh, these are the committee members. And the Boris was part of that uh, partner committee. So what you see here on the left hand side, that's the whole uh, 48 pieces together that generate the scenery. And some of these, you know, we have uh, individual presentations. So I will just skip this one. Uh, you see, this is the meta type, the Chinese, Korean, and the English all together. Okay. And the toward the end, I have a couple of other uh, examples. So just because of the time limit, I, I will just skip the explanations. But uh, um, uh, Yoshimaru is actually a very special designer. He uh, actually worked with um, more sustainable design as a graphic designer. And this is the, the tree house he actually built with an actual uh, metal wire. Some of these. Okay. So 
uh, in maybe two minutes. Uh, these, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, like I said, my presentation is a little appetizer for you guys. You know, it's not nothing to do with the font design or others, but uh, it, it will be very interesting because these are the result of you know how to apply your font design and you know so and so forth. Uh, so, uh, next to 15 sli uh, slide, uh, this these are the uh, young generations of Korean typographer who does a lot of experimentations nowadays. Okay, so here again, the combined letter forms in 3D uh, make a, like a little uh, card game. Uh, this is another like abstract, you know, visualizations that become more a geometric module. So somehow you can read the type, but somehow you just see that um, like a painting. And then here, uh, the vowel converted to the little dot and completely change the overall look and feel and the structure. More expressive, the visual presentations of uh, Hangul. You see the darker lines. Uh, those are the four main characters of Korean national flag based on uh, the yin yang you know, philosophy. Not, not Chinese way, but the Korean way. And then here is another the Korean type design and type uh, influences by you know uh, the different uh, the cultures and more systematic you know, uh, design. And then here the moving type the actual work was actually moving type. This is a screenshot. And the figure and ground the space. Um, experimentations uh, done by one of the teachers at Pati. Pati is a very unique uh, typography institution in Korea. And this, this was one of the earlier typographic international event. And this is the last piece. It's more like a monograms uh, that actually works with the image and the type. Okay? So, Again, <laughs> very quick presentation, but you know, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. yeah.